What's up, y'all? In this video, we're going to talk about rational functions. What are rational functions? What do they look like? Let's get to it and find out. Typically, most people consider a rational function a function where you've got one polynomial divided by another one. Uh, but more formally, it's really just a fractional function that contains a variable in the denominator with a degree of at least one. So the most basic value or the most basic type of rational function is called a reciprocal function. This is a reciprocal function. And typically we'll write this function as k over x. So this is that variable in the denominator with at least a degree of at least one. So this is x to the first power. k just represents some constant. This could be one, it could be seven, it could be negative two. Um, well, it can't be a negative for this graph, but it could be, k could be negative numbers, but in our case for this graph, it's only positive. So what does this mean in terms of what this graph is doing? Well, let's take a look at what, what's happening on the x axis. So you might notice we've got something here that this graph is kind of going up towards the x axis, but it doesn't look like it's getting to the x axis. And similarly, from here, it looks like it's going towards the x axis, but it doesn't actually get there. This is called an asymptote. So I'm gonna put a dotted line on here. I put a green dotted line on there, um, but an asymptote is a line, asymptote, let's put a definition up here. Uh, in general, now this isn't technically the formal definition of it. An asymptote is a value that the extremes of a function approach but never reach. Now we say extremes because we're really talking about what's happening as we go out towards infinity or what's happening as we go out towards negative infinity. And we also see here that we also have an asymptote because it looks like the same thing is happening as we're approaching the y axis. So uh, let's put the, the asymptote on there as well. For this one, I'm gonna use a red dotted line. So this is y equals zero and this is the line x equals zero. These two lines, this horizontal line, this is the equation for the horizontal line x or y equals zero. This is the equation for the vertical line uh, x equals zero. So what's happening with our functions as we're approaching these different, uh, these different asymptotes? Let's assume that f of x, let's, let's make it one over x. So as x goes out towards infinity, as x goes towards positive infinity, this, this little line, this little arrow, uh, this thing means approaches, or we can say that it tends towards, that's another uh, mathematical way that we say this tends towards a specific value. But as x approaches positive infinity, then y approaches zero. But notice that it's coming from the positive y values up here, the positive y portion of the xy axis. So we'll put a little notation up here. As x approaches negative infinity, as we go out towards negative infinity, y is still approaching zero, but now y is coming to zero up from the negative portion of the xy axis. So typically when we put things in the little subscript up here or the superscript up here, that means a power, but of course we can't have a positive, uh, we can't just take something to a positive power or a negative power. So in this case, this means uh, from that direction. Y approaches zero from the positive direction. Y approaches zero from the negative direction. Now what happens as X approaches zero? Because we, we've got something happening here, right? So first we have to talk about what happens as X approaches zero from the positive side. So as X approaches zero from the positive, then Y approaches positive infinity, right? So as we get closer to zero here, that thing is going up really tall, right? And that, and that should make sense because if we've got one over, because uh, we said uh, f of x is one, right? f of x is one. So if we've got one over a really small number, like a really small number might be something like uh, one over uh, 10,000, right? That's a really small number. Well, that equals 10,000, right? So what's happening is as we go towards a really small number here, we're going to a really big number there. So y is approaching positive infinity. And similarly, 
as x approaches zero from the negative side, as x is approaching zero from the negative side, y is approaching negative infinity. This here, this is our vertical asymptote. And this up here, this is our horizontal asymptote. Our, vert our horizontal asymptote, our vertical asymptote. So that's pretty straightforward, huh? Cool. So what happens if we've got something like this? x plus 6 over x minus 2, and we need to find the asymptotes and the x-intercepts of that? How are we going to find the asymptotes? How do we find the intercepts? We haven't talked about any of this stuff. Well, we will in the next video after you give me a thumbs up. I'll see you there.